skaters. It's Dirty Deborah Harry here with Sugar Group Roller Skates and the Dirty School Skate back here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center. It's late night, but we're here to talk about crossovers. This is pretty much the number one suggested item on the list. Everyone's like, can you do a video on crossovers? Can you do a video on crossovers? So Xavier, my nephew's got the camera. I'm here. It's late at night. We don't care. We're ready to do crossovers. All right. If you don't know what a crossover is, crossover is how we navigate the corners. So when we're skating down the straightaway, we're doing inside and outside edges, cruising. When we hit the corner, we gotta have an efficient way to get around the corner that isn't just a scooter push or just kind of zombieing around the corner and hoping that we get to the other side. All right, we need to do a crossover. A crossover is a combination of two different edges. It's a left outside and a right inside edge. So we lean on our left outside edge, we push out with our right, we land on a right inside edge, we push out with the left outside edge. Left outside, right inside, left outside, right inside. How do you know you can do an edge? How do you know you can hold an edge? Can you stand on one foot, even if it's just for a hot second? You gotta know. We're gonna have you stand like this. Everyone, get in front of the camera. Bend your knees. Shift or rock your weight over to your left hand side. So my left foot, I'm rocking my weight over there, which means I've taken my center line of balance and I've pushed it over my left foot, my left leg, my left side. My left knee is bent and my knee pressure is over the top of my skate and my baby toe. I got my arms out straight like that. Got my chin up, got my shoulders straight across, got my snack area nice and tight. Looking forward. Now I'm going to lift. Can I stand like this? I only need you to do this for a hot second when you're doing a crossover, but you can always practice doing this for stronger outside edges. Now, can you do a right inside edge? Meaning, can you balance on your right leg with your knee pushed over your baby toe? So again, shoulders straight across, snack area nice and tight, arms down, bend your knees, push your body weight over onto your right and lift. Can you stand like this? If you can't, I need you to practice and practice a lot. Okay, because remember, a crossover is a function of comboing these two edges together. Now, let's talk about the rest of our body. Last time we talked about cornering and turning, and I told you this one simple fact. You want to go somewhere? You want to turn? You want to corner? How about you look there first? That means you're skating down the straightaway, minding your own business, and you see something over there and you look at it. You're going to go straight to it if you look at it. If you look down, if you look up, if you look the opposite way, you're not going where you want to go. So if you're turning left, and we're always turning left when we're at the rink, you can turn right whenever else you want, but we're focusing on left or counterclockwise, you need to first turn your head. The second you turn your head, hopefully your shoulder goes with it, means your shoulder goes from a stationary position here or straight across to back or open. It's going to open up. Guess what that's going to do? That's going to help open up your hip, but sometimes that's not enough. And you need to orientate your hips into the direction you want to go. So think about it this way. Head turns shoulder. Shoulder turns hip. Hip turns foot. Do not make the very common mistake of skating just with your feet. It doesn't work like that. When we're skating, we're doing crossovers. It's just not a matter of, yes, I can do this. That does a crossover not make. Okay, first of all, I need you guys to really pay attention to this because I like to create good looking skaters, okay? I don't want you being all super mechanical. I need you to get to the flow stage as soon as possible, okay? So that means we are gonna look in the direction we wanna go. We're gonna drop our body weight. We're gonna look lean into the turn, okay? Just like if you were driving a car or even a bicycle, when you're like, oh shoot, turn, all right? When I turn my shoulders, I can turn my hips. Again, head turns shoulder, shoulder turns hip, hip turns foot. All right, now we're gonna get to the portion where we're gonna start actually doing a crossover. So here's what we need to remember. Body weight is down. My upper body is already orientated into the direction I wanna go. I'm gonna push out with my right foot and I'm going to cross over and land on my right inside edge and replace. Okay, again, push out, cross over, push out, replace. 
Okay, so you get back to where you started. Let me swing around the rink a little bit. I'm gonna do a few laps so you guys can get an idea of what this looks like in motion. All right, come on, let's go skate. Crossover, right? And down, I'm like looking, leaning, push, and cross. Okay? Reestablish, down, lean, look, push out, and cross. Down, lean, look, push out, and cross. Down, lean, look, push out, and cross. Push, cross, push, cross. easy. You are going to try this. Some of you are going to get it right away. For some reason, your brain's going to be like, ding, got it, no problem. Well, let's continue. For some of you, you're going to be like, um, <coughs> excuse me, I ain't getting it at all. It's okay. No big deal. You have to totally practice. You have to be able to establish your edges. Otherwise, your brain isn't like, okay, that's cool. Let's just push out that leg and throw it over on the other side. We'll be fine. We probably won't fall. Okay? If you establish your edges firmly, then you're going to be able to cross over. When I say establish your edge firmly, I mean you have a very strong left outside edge. Practice this edge. If you do not have this edge down strong, a crossover is always going to be scary. The other thing is, if you are ever unstable in skating in your life at all, your butt is too high off the ground. I see it all the time, skating like this. Now we're going to try to do crossovers. No, your butt needs to be down. Your knees need to be bent when you skate, okay? Again, let's go around and let me check it again. All right, I'm gonna do my crossover, right? Left outside edge, established nice and strong. I know it because I can lift this leg up and cross. Lean, cross, lean, cross, lean, cross. All right? So, beginners, this is what I want you to do. Every day, because you know you got time to practice skating, you don't even have to put on your skates. I need you to practice balance. So, chin up, shoulders straight across, snare carry tight, arms down. Bend your knees, lift, okay? Keep it nice and low, then lift up and down and up and down. Do that until it's so easy. It's no big deal at all. Do it on both legs, up and down up and down. Then put your skates on and do them with your skates on. Then when you go to the rink, same thing. Skating down the straightaway, minding your own business. Pick them up. One, two, three. Down. One, two, three. When you get to the corners, you're down. Push. Cross. Together. All right? That's all I got for you today on crossovers. Now, Next crossover video, we're gonna to totally go for it. Meaning, it's gonna be big, it's gonna take up the whole ring. We're gonna teach you how to use your arms, how to lean forward, how to get tons of speed, how to turn into it, how to turn out of it, all sorts of fun little stuff. But I need you to have your foundational skills down pat. So, practice your balance off skates. Practice your balance off the floor, but with your skates on, and then we'll do it on the rink. If you've got questions or comments, leave them. I will answer everyone. Give me suggestions about future videos, and I'll help you out. All right, until then, go out and practice. Again, let's go around and let me check it again.